And horse number one, this is a fuel injected and a born winner as he goes into the source safely. Number two has been running well lately and has an outside chance. Number three, if you compared this horse with motor cars, I'm afraid it'd be a clapped out Cortina. Number four, fortune favours the brave and they don't come any braver. As number five goes into the stalls, my tip for today after hearing whispers from the stable. Number six, one paced but runs forever. As number seven goes in, broke down on the gallops earlier this year. Not much chance for him. And number eight, I quite like the look of this filly. Just uh, a few problems getting one of them in. That's it already. And they're off. Number two was very slow to begin. He was awkward leaving the boxers, but he's got ten furlongs to play catch-up. And it was the three who was the first to begin. One of the market leaders, the four, is giving chase. And there's very little pace on through the very early stages. Seven's on the inside, taking quite a strong hold, and now racing in third place. Then towards the outside is the grey eight, and that's racing in fourth. To the outside is six, followed by one. And then working towards the rear of the field, we've got five, the back marker at the moment, the slow starting two. Less than a mile to go, and the three is definitely racing choke out here. The jockey trying to dab on the brake pedals, the horse extending the jockey's arms. The lead is two lengths with seven furlongs to go. It's four is racing in second. The outside eight is in third, and seven is filling out fourth position. A break then of two lengths to six is on the outside of one, and then towards the inside is two, and now the back marker with three quarters of a mile to go is five. Not many of these settled early, not a great deal of pace on through the first half of this contest, and it's three who leads the way by a couple of lengths. In second is four, turning in with five furlongs to go, the great eight is racing in third, and now they just begin to increase the tempo. Seven is racing in fourth, to the outside is six, then one towards the inside, then the cheek pieces of two, and towards the outside the orange and green of five, who's still out the back of the field. Now they begin to bunch up, and now it's the three who leads by only a length. Here comes the four towards his outside. Wider still is the eight. Looking for a seam against the inside rail is the one. Also staying on is the two. Towards the outside five is picking up one or two places. Then the six and now the back marker as they race down towards the final furlong is the seven. Inside the quarter. Out in front it's the four. Tackled now by the three. Then towards the outside eight. Now the red colours with the yellow cap. Here comes the game one. Now they race out of the dip. A furlong to go. One down the outside. Towards the inside is the four. Late on the scene. Here comes the five. Well inside the final furlong. One all out. Against the far side rail is the four. On the outside the five. It's one and four. One and four. That's close. It's a photo between one and four. The one really deserved it. He was beaten just a short head last time. Has he got there this time in the red colours yellow cap? Here's the dive for the line. He's just nailed it. The one has just got there. It's a short head over the four, and then there's only half a length back to the five. There's confirmation. It's one, four, and five. One, four, and five.